Hey guys, Brady here. Um, this is another movie review. Upon the success of my Scott Pilgrim vs. The World review, it's pretty popular. <laughs> and I, and you guys could definitely agree, that movie was great. Some people may not think that, but it's a movie made by Universal Studios. So, in cooperation with that, I thought I'd do an animated movie. <laughs> 2014, right? Yeah, we're all familiar with 2014. with such amazing stuff like the Lego movie and games like Hyrule Warriors and Smash 4. Uh, they all were amazing. But two years later, in 2016, we got perhaps the, wor the absolute worst cartoon movie of all time, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. If you aren't familiar with Rocky and Bullwinkle, they were a cartoon show from the late 50s and early 60s. That show was amazing. It focused more on adult jokes than kid, than kid show cliches. But then the movie came out, 48% on Rotten Tomatoes. Jeez. But two years, uh, two years ago, Dream DreamWorks Studios had an idea. Hmm. Uh, let's check out this show. Ah, uh, yes. There's two specific characters in here. Let's make a movie about about them so we can cash in on later experiences. And we got Mr. Peabody and Sherman. Enough said on that. But seriously, if you have not watched this movie, boy, you're stupid. Um, <laughs> this. Trust me, this is way, and I mean way better than the Rocky and Bullwinkle movie. Even though it may, yeah, it's, it's got characters from Rocky and Bullwinkle, Mr. Peabody and Sherman, as said so in the title. So, this movie came out in 2014, made by DreamWorks, which such, that has such classic hits like Shrek, Puss in Boots, Megamind, that's a good movie, um... What else did they make? Flushed Away, that was a nice movie. Um, Chicken Run was fine. Um, but there were also the times when they were like, hey, let's rip off Disney and make stuff like Shark Tale. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, stuff like that goes far off into the distance. You know, like that. But they also made stuff like The Crudes, Turbo, indie films that you may know. But 2014 came around. They had to popularize... Um, these two specific characters right before their live action movie came out with Rocky and Bullwinkle. So why is this movie such <clears throat> a great adventure for the entire family? As said so on the back of the box. Let's find out. So if you are <clears throat> so if you are unfamiliar with this with Mr. Peabody, I'll give you the premise. Mr. Peabody was a section um on the show Rocky and Bullwinkle, right? And he had this son named Sherman. And you may be thinking, a dog being a dad, that is nonsensical. That is what we had back in the day, guys. We didn't have any fancy little unikitty shows on Cartoon Network or Total Drama or whatnot. We didn't have that crap. We had Rocky and Bullwinkle and the Batman 60s show. That was a nice little show. <laughs> okay, enough said. But... You basically get the point. It's just... It's the opposite of um, a boy owns a dog. It's a dog that owns a boy. <laughs> you get the premise, basically. So... How about we talk about the movie? Premiering in 2014, it starred... I can't find the star... The people who starred it on the box. Um, you'll have to look in the ending credits for yourself. Um, so, yeah... Let's get to it. So, what happens in the story? Well, Mr. Peabody's like, Sherman, you should not touch the way back. He's like, okay, Mr. Peabody. Now go to school, Sherman. That's literally how he talks in the movie. He's like, hello, my name is Mr. Peabody. And since we're going to be spending some time together, I might as well talk to you a little bit about myself. And he talked, and this is how he talked in the old show. Listen, Sherman, my boy, you must go do your homework. 
Oh, hey, it's repeat, buddy. That's how they talked in the old show. This is how they talked in the um, new movie. I'm just making a little home spun, uh, homemade concoction I like to call Einstein on the beach. To the kids. <laughs> Seriously, this movie is like the funniest thing you'll ever see in years. Spe spe specifically when it comes to it being by DreamWorks. You're welcome. Um, but enough said on that. The plot, I just explained the plot. Mr. Peabody is like, Sherman gave me the greatest idea in all of life, building a time machine. And that is what he did. He built the Wayback. And it looks like a giant floating space apple, which is what they call it in the film. One of the parents calls it that. Like, yeah, at the end of the movie. We'll get to that in a bit. But, um, so the movie begins. And so Sherman is have, went, going, uh, going to his first day of school. Shocker, right? <laughs> um, and then he's like, I love you, Mr. Peabody. And he's like, I have a deep regard for you too, Sherman. And he drops on his moped out of the school. <laughs> <clears throat> and so, what happens? Lunchtime comes around, right? Yeah. I'm going to explain the weirdest scene that I thought was, like, the most brutal scene in the movie. Um, it's, tr trust me, you'll get to it. You'll get, um, the gist once I speak of it. So, they're having lunch. And there's this character named... Hmm. It's one of the main characters that you'll get to know in the movie. Her name is, uh, Penny. I think. I don't think she's in the original show, actually. This is an original character, everybody. <laughs> um, but seriously, none of the other characters are original, as you can see. Michelangelo and Trojan Dude. I forgot the Trojan guy's name, who loves pizza. He's like, I'm in love! And King Tut, as well. <clears throat> but, um, so, she's like, Why are you eating human food? Because your dad's a dog, so that means you're a dog, too. And I was like, dang, roast. And so they have a fight. And what happens at the end of this fight? Sherman bites Penny like a dog would do. I'm serious. That, that's literally what happened. And so Mr. Peabody was called to the principal's office <laughs> instantly. I was like, he was like, Sherman bit the girl? Oh dear, that's not good. And so, at night, Mr. Peabody was explained this whole dilemma, and he was, and Sherman was like, he called me a dog. And then Mr. Peabody got a shockful face. <laughs> that's terrible, Sherman. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but let's get to the time traveling stuff. So, they travel to like three or four places, basically. First, they travel to, at the beginning of the movie, they travel to, um, the French Revolution. <laughs> so there's that. Um, where the reign of terror comes. And so Mr. Peabody almost got killed. But luckily, he's got a smart brain. So he figures out a whole plan, just like a master builder in the Lego movie. <laughs> um, but the other places that they go to... trying to think so it was so wait a minute i forgot to explain mr peabody invited penny and her parents to dinner <laughs> that's that's how much of the problem this has caused so they invite her they invite her and her parents to dinner and so mr peabody is like don't tell her about the way back and sherman shows her the way back because he's I don't want to say dumb, but he doesn't have that much of smartness as Mr. Peabody. But, yeah. They travel back in time to, um, so what happens, right? He shows her the way back, right? They get in the way back and travel to Egyptian time. And then they go back to, and then he goes, and then Sherman goes back to Mr. Peabody and tells 
Mr. Peabody? I I sent Penny to the Egyptian Times. He's like, you used the way back? Mm. Quickly, let's us go. We need to save your friend. She's not my friend. <laughs> <coughs> so they go to the Egyptian Times, only to find out that Penny is the princess slash queen, along with the bride of King Tutankhamen, or known as King Tut. Um, and it leads to a pretty interesting fun. You can't marry this guy because his name rhymes with butt. <laughs> that that's a that's actually a stupid pun. I shouldn't say that, but still, you can get the idea. Then they travel to the Renaissance and then to the Trojan War, which happens to be my favorite part. <laughs> Remember what happened to Achilles? That whole thing was a real. Um, and then then the saddest part, I think is when Sherman thinks that Mr. Peabody is dead. That's not true, actually. So they go back in time to when the parents and Mr. Peabody were having a drinks. And Mr. Peabody apparently shows up like, wait, you we was the way back? And this happened before. By the way, the end of it is a spoiler, so click off this video if you don't want to see spoilers. Um... Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so the end. What happens? Sherman goes back in time to Mr. Peabody, right? So, um, along with Penny. Along with Penny. So, uh, what happens? Another Sherman appears out of the elevator. And he's like, it's like we're twins. Yeah. <laughs> and they realize that they can't high five because they're two of the same person. And they know if they can... If they high-five, they will break the space-time continuum as we know it. And then another Mr. Peabody shows up. It's the actual Peabody that we thought died in the Trojan War. But, but he knows his ways. And so, what happens? They, they fuse. Mr. Peabody, the Mr. Peabody's and the Sherman's fuse to make one bit, to make two, uh, one single Mr. Peabody and one single Sherman. But then Miss Grunion, the principal, shows up. And he's like, Miss Grunion, I, I didn't know you were here. Wow. So enough said on that. And then the end of the movie commences. Enough said. Actually, yeah, let's get to the end. So what happens? The, um... Dang, this, this video is being continuingly very long. 13 minutes, actually. Um, so, what happened? Mr. Peabody almost gets taken to the pound. And then, Sherman confesses that he's a dog. And then everyone confesses that he's a dog, and they live happily ever after. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, this is the best alternative to the Rocky and Bullwinkle movie. Do not go see that movie. See this movie. Don't see the live action. See the animated. Don't see the crappy CGI. See the great CGI. Don't see the other company. See DreamWorks. You get the idea. <clears throat> so overall, this movie, great. 9 out of 10. It's not perfect by any means. It's just great. So, if you guys want more reviews, please comment. My Lego video is going to be tomorrow. Sayonara, peeps. Take care. This is a 14 minute long video. But, anyways, bye.